Hello everyone, especially my brothers and sisters in Nigeria. This is a message that I got on WhatsApp. A number of persons have sent me this message. And as I was listening to this message, I was shaking. This message really shook me. And I feel I should share it with everyone. Personally, I've had some dreams, some visions about Nigeria. Uh, a few days ago, I was looking at my jota and I saw what I jotted down on the 25th of July 2016 about a war that will break out in Nigeria. When I read through it, I discovered that a lot of things that are actually happening now uh, some of the things that I wrote down, but I told myself I'm not going to make this message that the Lord gave to me public because time has overtaken it. But last year, I posted a video on the 15th of September 2020, and I titled the video, God Told Me What Is Coming to Nigeria. I had a very clear message in a dream concerning war coming to Nigeria and I said we should pray for Nigeria in that video. After I listened to this audio I want you to listen to now, I told myself it is time for us Christians to sit up because we can see the handwriting on the wall. Please listen to this message and share it to as many people as you can. Thank you and God bless you. It's even worse in our state now, in my home state, in my state, it's terrible. Which day was that? Three or four days ago. My, my brother went to school, he said they ran away. All ran away. It's a kind of cars that entered my, my village. Everybody's school, all the school closed immediately. But I don't know what they actually came to. Nobody could trace who they were. They all ran away from school. Are you? I don't know what you do. What are we doing? What? Uh, huh. Nigeria, Nigeria. Uh, I'm just uh, thank God if we can bring this, everybody, even no matter how small, we'll keep praying for our nation. It will be better. Hmm. We don't stop and pray. Let's pray and we hope him. And uh, the rest is for God to change. Nigeria has. Yeah, the genuine leaders are not genuinely making efforts to see that this country, because they are the ones falling everything. And God is beginning to, God will start judging at them, because if I tell you the revelation that God showed me, if I sure. tell you my revelation, my sister, eh? If I tell you, you will fear. You will fear. If I tell you this thing, you 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 will fear. You will. Don't. I really need to. I really need to hear because it will help us. Even we that we 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 teach. Even my children, I teach them hmm. because people around you, you you first of all teach yourself, teach your family, teach before you go out. I was taken. I was taken aback on a revelation, my sister. Yes. I was. I I was. I saw myself suddenly. I saw myself in the midst of. People that were speaking some strange languages. Oh. The language was neither English, was not Yoruba, was not Igbo, was not Hausa. Not that. Not it was not my language. Yeah. I was wondering. I said, I was looking. This language that these people are speaking. What are they saying? I'm not hearing this yeah. language. I started saying that in my mind. What are these people saying? I looked at all of them, they were very serious. On a very long dining table. Hey. Everybody was seated, 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 seated. I was looking at this people, all of a sudden I saw a hand come out from the wall. No, a hand, like, okay, like the hand came out from the wall, but the hand was in the wall. Hey. And then the hand just wrote, what the hand wrote is, Mission, mission mission one accomplished. And I said mission one. That is the, uh, because I was asking. 
that's the agenda of the kingdom of darkness. We shall want if they have accomplished it or what? Just listen. If you want to listen to if you want to hear exactly what I want to say now, listen exactly as I saw it. As I have. Mission one accomplished. And I have the oh. and I said in my heart, mission one oh. accomplished. What is mission one accomplished? The hand just quickly said, I thought you were asking me what are they saying? I said, it, 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 this hand is talking to me. I said, yes, of course, it is you I'm talking to. That is the reason why I brought you, so that you, I brought you here, so that you will see what is going on. I have shown you this thing before. I showed you last year, you did not take it serious. I showed you two years ago, you did not take it serious. Now I am telling you that it has reached your nose. I said, eh? He said, you forgot it? He now took me back immediately to remind me when he told me two years ago. When he told me one year ago. Hey, I remembered everything. My sister, I remembered everything. But let me tell you what I saw first. Before I will not tell you when he took me back. Then he, he just said, I said, what is, I said, please, 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 please. Before you will tell me what they are saying again, what is mission one? Yes. It's only mission one. Yes. All these people I see seated there, they are all Kanuri Fulani people. I said, eh? Who do you see? They are all what? Fulani people. Jesus. I said, eh? Because we are not hearing the language now because they don't have water. They don't speak our water. Thank you. Yes. 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 No wonder I did not, this language did not, yes. 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 I did not, it was strange to me. He said, listen to mission one. Mission one is that they will take all the infrastructural capacity in Nigeria. One, they will occupy all the ammunition security organization in Nigeria. In that sense, number one, they will occupy all the financial sectors in Nigeria. They are the ones to rule all the financial sector and all the military sector, all the power sector in Nigeria. He says they have, they, that, that is what they are saying. Now they not clap for them, themselves. They say mission one accomplished, that that is 50% of the assignment has been done. And I said the next thing we are going to do we have to accomplish mission two. One person has said mission two is also accomplished. So the hand was beginning to interpret to me what they are saying. What they are saying? I said mission two. That one is like a big revelation or big one now. I said what is mission two? He said, I, he said listen to them, listen. Immediately my ears started hearing what they are saying. Immediately my ears started hearing what they are saying. I started interpreting, getting the interpretation. Now, even you are hearing, you are not understanding. Yes. So now I started understanding what they were saying. Yes. What were they saying? They said, now we have deployed all our boys to all the cities and towns in Nigeria. In South, they are everywhere now. That, that we have merged Boko Haram headsmen and El Zazaki people together as one. That the training that they received for four years in Cuba and in Kuwait and in Iraq is enough for them for these four years to take over Nigeria down. That they have given them all of them ammunition and a minimum of 50,000 rand for each of the ammunition. And that each town has been loaded right now with all these ammunition. Jesus. So that was what the person said. They that clap hand. They said, so the next thing is, we remember, which we should remember, two months to when Buhari will step down, he will, he will travel out. And then, we have to overthrow his government. You know, that is the reason why our brother in the military there is there now, so that he automatically they become the power. And that night when they will, when the military will over, overthrow when the military will overthrow the government, we have to wipe out all satanas that are in the military. We must poison all of them, kill all of them. 
That night that we are killing them, we must shut down the internet. We must shut down every uh, communication system that will make people to know what is going on outside Nigeria. And then we have to activate the second communication system. And I said, I have, all of them have also received all the communication systems for the second transmission that, that all our people will have. Then the next children. that all satanists must be wiped that night that the military coup will take over. All satanists must be wiped out of existence. All military satanists must be wiped out so that they will be empty. That breaking, breaking money, when the media was supposed to say breaking news or whatever, there will be no breaking news. There will, be no, there will be no internet. There will be no media. There will be no nothing in Nigeria. There will be no communication. They are going to shut down MTN, Airtel, everything, but that is what they will do immediately. Take over. This is scary. This is scary. I'm telling you 100% scary. He said, then immediately they should enter into the community. Once it is 6 a.m., from that 5 a.m. in the morning, they should enter into each community and start killing all the youths and adults. They should wipe all of them, kill all of them instantly. And then they are given three days to make sure that they pack all their dead bodies and dump them and wipe them out of existence. Nobody should know where they were dumped. Burn them, wipe them out of existence. No thing, nobody can call in to Nigeria. Nobody can call out from Nigeria. No communication can take place anyway. Sure. So when that is done, then their boys will enter into the street and begin to kill, begin to shoot anybody they see. So between this period of time, they will take over the land and then they will put on military uniform immediately. They become the new Nigerian soldiers. Well, we should be praying, oh, my brother, that nothing God cannot do. He that even went to the camp of that monarchy and they, slaughter, they, they, they can slaughter themselves among themselves with all this their plan. If God is revealing it, he's revealing so that his children can intervene and call upon him so that at the end, we know this we are planned by the enemies, but Jehovah has reserved for good for his children. These are revelations. I now, this, this, this thing I just told you. you, this thing I just told you, have you had it anywhere? Not at all. This thing you are just showing now is, is a revelation it's of revelation. what is going to happen. It's a very it's deep, a very deep revelation. And we have to be, you know, every Christian, even before, even my small place in my office, everybody should pray for a nation. Even the new city was that I was telling everybody should pray for this nation. Let God up and intervene. It's not something you can pray with your understanding. Most times we speak in court, let God is really take absolute control of what you are even praying. So there, there is, is time, problem. There is trouble. My sister? God, but if you don't call on God, the, 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 the adverse effect, we might not contain it. I said, in this thing, when I was, re then when I was taken aback on the revelation, so okay, I'm not finished, I want you to say very well. So by the time I was made to see, I was now shown a video of how Nigeria will be. The hands just automatically became a video. My sister, no, we, we, our, our country went back to 1951. That was what was shown. So Nigeria, 1951. There was no civilization. There was nothing. Everything burned. By the time these people powered the internet back, the international community did not see any news to read. All of a sudden, they just knew that Nigeria is a different country now. A new people, a breed of people that just from nowhere, suddenly everything changed. And they, became, they started wondering. People started calling their family members from abroad. No GSM was locking up. No calls were not going, going anywhere. Nobody to come in. When people came in, to want to come from abroad to come in, they came home, their homes are all, they were all empty! Yeah. No boat in the family, no, no, so people back in the they want them not, they will be wondering, uh -uh, they just come how come there is bush, dust, grass, everywhere was already covered, some, some village, no access to them again, people were no more staying in them. 
see a revelation of years ago God showed you. This is how class will start growing up, growing, growing and growing. You can see that okay? what is going to happen after this thing they want to do has already been shown to me. Yeah. So these people are means are the ones that will begin to. So people, these people that think my God will not see, the people that were occupying the land now are full of needs. And they were wondering, who are you? So those people were very good carry, they were wondering business on the road. The, the community became their own. All the communities, all the communities, Nigeria became a new country. You need to see. They, I saw I was I was I was a slave. I saw I was a slave. They were teaching us a new constitution, a new religion, a new system, a new way of life. Did you see how they were, the people they, 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 they adopted in me and what they are telling them to be called, forcefully telling them to confess when it's an Islamic religion? Huh? There, is, one is there was a problem, my sister. And no, no government is not doing it. Do you, you know these people, they are going, you are conversing with them, they are negotiating. How can you be negotiating? Which government are you talking? Can you please explain to me what you mean by government? Who are you talking? Nigeria now, Nigerian government. Nigerian government of which, of which people? The, the army is under the, the Fulanese. Navy, Fulani. Air Force, Fulani. Uh, immigration, Fulani. Customs, Fulani. Prisons, Fulani. N, uh, NCDC, Fulani. Uh, NDLA, Fulani. NADAC, uh, Fulani. Um, uh, FI address. Fulani, um, finance, Fulani, um, um, uh, Lagos Seaport, Fulani, um, um, just keep mentioning it. So who is the government? Do you know what the just said? Fifty percent has been accomplished. They said fifty percent has been accomplished. That is, they have placed Fulani all in the capacity of controlling the finance and the military power of this nation. So they have achieved fifty percent. So their their youth now are going to be sent to go into the world now and begin to very soon now they will they, they, when their youth enter into the world, their youth will begin to take over because they're giving them power to suppress. To, to subdue. So we will not have power to be able to do anything. And that's how they begin to wipe us out of existence. And we will just be wiped away. Nothing will happen. This is the beginning of our end. And they will dethrone Christianity out of the South. Christianity will be wiped out of Africa. And then I saw that immediately Christianity was wiped out of Nigeria, Africa became darkness. Because Christianity... Of course, because Christianity was, there was any light again. There was a light. Uh, Nigeria is the Christianity of the world right now, from what I was told. That Nigeria is the Christianity of the world right now. Yeah. And once Nigeria goes down, the world has entered into colossal darkness. Oh. Now that's just the truth. So we should take note that we were given responsibility. OJ! Oh, yes, yes. We were given responsibility and we did not take our responsibility. I was shown two times now I never took it serious. But now I have been told that my laziness is going to cost me my children. Oh. It's going to cost me everybody around me. So that you have to be speaking out to tell this revelation, even if it's a voice thing, to speak it and tell people to, even if it's a not joke, say this. Who that have here and should hear. Thank God for this um, internet uh, 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 from the, the opportunity we have in internet. Even if it's audio, you don't want to send your video, you can send it on, on voicemail. People can forward. And the Lord God blesses you just to help to address what God, you know, the doom that is ahead of us. God did show you, show you that oh, it's not only one person who pray now, it's a community that wants to pray, it's a community of the Christian body that has to pray. This and the much is which people, oh, if you read the person that is going to say, then I ask, I saw our Christian leaders, they were slaughtered. Hey, huh? Our Christian leaders, they were killed. 
And we saw that our Christian pastors, these wicked men of God, all of them were killed. None of them escaped to. They were all killed. The, the only people I saw that gave a little resistance were the Niger Delta people, but they, they also empowered them. They also over empower, overpowered them. In that revelation, I saw these things, my, my heart was failing me. Because when the, uh, the, 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 the hand was through with me inside the hall, it now took me out of the hall to show me the consequence of the action of this meeting that took place. And that was when I started seeing. It took me two years, I saw. It took me two years to leave Abuja to get to my village with leg inside the bush. I saw that before I got to my village, I, it was not like when somebody was watching black and white television. That was how it was shown to me. When somebody was watching black and white television, all the grasses in the bush, all the grasses in the bush have dried. All the, the those the trees, no more, no more uh, flowers, no more, no fresh flowers. Uh, there were vehicles burnt on the way. People were burnt inside the vehicle. People were burnt inside with families. Accident. There were confusion. It's like people ran into the bush. I saw big bodies killed on this inside the bush, on the streets, on the roads. By the time I got to village. All my family members were dead. My father's house was set on fire. Oh! I saw bullet holes on the wall of the board of the house. The 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 community was the past was was empty. Afternoon like this, everywhere silent like graveyard. Nobody came from anywhere. <laughs> And then I was very emaciated, hunger. I became broomstick. I saw it. Sure. I saw it with my two eyes. Then you know how long it will take. You saw something. God just show you everything about it. Everything. Everything. There was no more country. There was no life anymore. There was no. There was no. There was no life anywhere anymore. The whole of South, the whole of South, I saw Lagos State, Lagos State was empty. I was taken, I was, I was, I was taken on a serious movement. Oh. I saw Lagos State was empty, nobody on the street, it was like, it was like black and white television. I saw on the road, all the trees, everywhere was empty, people were no more there. The few people I saw, they were, they were lifeless, they were just inside the, like, mud houses. They were just there, looking. Even me, I, was, I could not help myself not to talk of helping them. I was crying, but there were no tears from my eyes. Tears could not come out, there were no tears. I was wishing for death, but I could not see death. But I did not see my children again, sir. I don't even know what happened to them. The only thing that I had a consciousness in me that they, they, they died. But I could not know how they died. Oh. This is what I saw, my sister. It's very scary. When it's very scary. I finished seeing oh, all these things. And I asked the hand. And I asked that hand a question. Who are you? Yes. Yes. He said, oh, you've not known me till now. Oh. I said, I need to understand who you are because you have seen the future and you have, you've, you've, seen the, you've, you've seen the past, you've shown me the, the past, you've shown me the, the present, and now you've shown me the future. That you must be. So I wanted to say, what was in my mind was, you must be God. I, that's what I wanted to say, you must be. You know what he answered me? He said, uh, he said, and when the comforter is come, he shall lead you into all truths. Hey! Huh? You know it you it should know that it is no other person than the Holy Spirit. Yes, the comforter now. That is that's it. That's what I'm telling you. I said, hey. So, I said, then I said, what do we do? He said, begin to pray. 
He said, I did not say go and gather crowd. I was telling somebody about that my children. It is very, it's not the prayer we pray sarcastically on that my office would have said. It's the prayer we pray, you know, the kind of when you have a need, you clock up yourself and pray. That and is not what he said. That's the kind of meeting you should be doing now. He said, Nigeria. he said, begin to pray. I said, I said begin to pray me? Who am I? I am not a, I am not a, I am not a, I am not among one of the powerful Christians. He said, it is you that said so. He said, you are the one that said so. But your, your voice matters a lot in heaven. Hey. This nation has been put under your hand to deliver it. That is why you have always been seeing these revelations. I said, but I am a nobody. He said, you don't need to be a somebody before God. He said, you might be a nobody before people, but you are a person before God. That is why you are seeing this. Prayer is 100% needed. Any believer that will understand this your message, tell him, let him begin to pray seriously. Trouble is coming. It's a lesson for me. I know it. You to uh, you have to send it to people, many, because it's all what one person. God has given you the man to do responsibility to do so, so you don't be nice. It's not what you keep to yourself. You give it to us so we can pray, all pray, and we see the result to the trust. So when it's reversed, we know that it's actually the yellow that is really that is, that is, you know, that has done it. You know that it's not in the hand of man, knowing that the situation you are showing is uh, like, uh, um, or, or, or repairable situation, but irreparable situation. But God can repair even the irreparable situation. That's what he is trying to do. Because immediately he finished saying all those things. Immediately he finished this. Thing. Just in my two eyes like this, suddenly he just faded away. The hand just faded away like a wind, like breeze. <laughs> he had gone. As he just left like that, all of a sudden, my spirit, my body, Started returning back through the process, it all passed through back to my back to my waking up level. I actually went for a spiritual journey. That was a spiritual journey you went. Immediately, okay. I checked the time. Okay. It was t one, 10 minutes after 3 a.m. I said, Hey, there is trouble. My balls were shaking. I was shaking. Okay. I called one of our pastors immediately. I said, Pastor, so, there is problem. There is yeah. problem. He said, what is this? For me to be calling you? I said, Pastor, there is problem. <laughs> we need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray. There is problem. This is what happened. 